my goodness, it's bullshit vanishing time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm going to wait for some of you to jump on. We are exploring the magical soul today. And I want to see who's here and what's going on. As soon as you guys jump in, we're going to have this discussion. So many times have I been asked, what do you mean? Because I say it all the time, you know, most of you would know, I say banish the bullshit, right? All the time. All the time. And I've had so many questions about what the hell does that mean? Crimson, what does that mean? Vana, what does that mean? <laughs> so let's banish some bullshit, right? Hi Pixie Sweetheart, hi Jennifer, hi Nabi. We're about to go into some banish the bullshit time. Um, so banish the bullshit is really something that I've used for you know many 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 years uh, since I kind of uh, stepped into myself and said hey not my business what people think of me it's all of my business what I think of me and then I started to really look around me and see what the bullshit was because we're you know busy 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 uh, we get into the rat race we get into the you know politics of uh, I don't know, life and, you know, friendships and family and, you know, work and all of these things. And all of the, this energy en masse, right, comes at us. Guess what, guys? It's not ours. It's, it's someone else's shit. It's bullshit that we then take on as our own. Oh, I'm missing stuff. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Mystic Sweetheart. Um, Ravina, hi, hi. How are you, sweetie? Chris. Uh, you guys are jumping up pretty pretty quickly right now. Um, so, you know, when all of this stuff is coming at us, people are like, well, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, do the best that I can. And I'm like, yes, you are. And yes, I was. But I was trying to do the best I could with other people's shit. Other people's bullshit. Not my shit, their shit, right? So when we're exploring the magical soul, we're not looking at just... Uh, you know, we're not looking at everyone else's stuff. We're looking at our own soul. Yes, everyone has a magical soul and theirs is as important as yours, but yours comes first to you, right? Because, you know, there's that old saying, you know, if you don't insert thing here for yourself, you can't do it for someone else, right? Um, hi, Briar, sweetheart. Uh, moving on over here. I, I know you guys were uh, on the other live, but this is the only time I have to do this today. So I'm really thankful for you guys joining me today. Um, so, you know, in explanation of, you know, traversing the magical soul, we kind of go, oh, you know, we talked about measuring sticks last uh, week, right? So measuring sticks are a thing that we actually do take on uh, and they're not ours, but we take that on. So that's part of the bullshit, right? But there are other things that really encroach on our on our growth on our self-esteem on our you know everything and it's not just measuring sticks because some of us have been conditioned in life to do for others before you do for you right um, and whilst that is so amicable and I'm not saying here be selfish all the time because I really do believe that there is a balance and in in this you know striving for equilibrium we need to do 50% selfish 50% selfless. That's, you know, what I've learned over the years for myself. I don't know how you do it. That's okay how you do it. I'm just, you know, you guys ask me the question. I'm telling you what I, I bullshit is to me. Um, what's happened? Wouldn't miss it for the world, Jennifer. Oh my goodness, sweetheart. So 50% selfish, 50% selfless scales, right? But we are conditioned. The norm is to get, you know, society, family, whatever it is. The normal conditioning is this way. So everyone else first, you, you can't even see you on the screen right now, right? <laughs> and hence why we fall into a lot of problems. And you know what? This means everyone else's stuff and not yours. Hence, label bullshit here. Um, because it's not yours and you're taking it on as yours and then we fall into problems because your soul's progression isn't able to harness you can't feel those feelings you can empathize and sympathize but you're not actually feeling what they're going through so taking it on as your own and trying to fix something that isn't yours really comes into this you know hitting your head against a brick wall scenario right 
Hi, Willow Moonshine, sweetheart. Hi, Dawn. Um, dirty girl in the garden, loving it. Oh, I love that. Yes, gardening time. Um, so, Jennifer's like, that's how I got sick again. Um, so, we kind of really look at, I mean, you can label anything you want bullshit, but that's, you know, again, measuring sticks, taking on other people's stuff, but then you've got the other layers of things as well, where we kind of sit there and go, hmm, I want to progress in my life. And I know that a lot of people out there separate their witchy self from their self self. I'm not that person. I am myself. And being witchy is part of me all the time, right? So I don't have a designated hour or a designated day or a designated place that I revere solely, right? I do, I do the magic in the mundane every day. Um, and so, you know, I don't compartmentalize myself in that nature. Uh, and therefore, I look at everything through whole eyes for myself. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, hi, Renee, sweetheart. Um, you're, not, you're only supposed to climb the mountain, not carry it, Renee. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Jack, hello, Crimson Fire. I'm at school. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Jack, you're always at school <laughs> when I'm on. Um, so, you know... I'm the same way, which and me are one, Jennifer says. So, I mean, that's how I am. So I'm just, you know, trying to convey to you guys how I, my processes are, because you asked the question, what the hell does banish the bullshit mean? Um, so when I'm in, in this space and I'm looking at everything external to me, I don't uh, take it on as my own. I will always respect someone else. Like, I give respect from the get-go. I don't wait for someone to earn my trust or my respect I give it straight away. Now, I can revoke it should I choose, right? If something goes down, I can revoke it. But love, respect, and, you know, trust, I give instantly. Unless there then needs to be, you know, a revo uh, to revoke it in some way, shape, or form. But that is up to me. That is not up to someone else uh, telling me how something is or how someone is. I'm that person that, you know, formulates their own opinion of a situation. Uh, before, you know, giving my answer, I, I call it the five, five, ten countdown, right? I count to, when someone says something to me, I count to five and I think, what does this mean to me, right? And then I count to ten inside my head, because it would be weird if I was counting one, two, three, four, five while I was talking to the person, but anyway. Uh, and then I count to ten and f really work out how that needs to be, you know, exuded from me. So I will count to 10 and then I will be formulating what that resonance is and what needs to come out from me in regards to what that person said. And then I will speak my truth because I've taken the time to assess what my truth is. It's not um, reactory. It's not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not connected to me, you know? Um, oh, goodness me. You guys jump up like so quickly. Uh, Okay, let me just address some of this stuff. Um, did you like the comment I gave you uh, on one of, I don't know, um, uh, you're talking to Mystic Jack. Okay, private conversations. As a mum, this topic is something I continually work out, especially when teen and young uh, adult children, with teen and young adult children. Yes, 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 yes. Let's talk about that in a minute, totally.